So today's theme happens to be chocolate. There are a lot of Dua fragrances being released on the weekend. They are gourmand leaning and I always take an interest in them because they're always done differently from everything that I have in my collection. But I do like how there is this occasional inclusion of some peculiar ingredient like walnut in this one particular fragrance. In today's triple feature, we're going to be doing a video on creamy coffee abode. We have Chaco milk treat and we have creamy blend of walnuts. All of them are gourmand leaning, as you can imagine. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on these three brand new fragrances, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video, this triple feature on three Dua original fragrances, I'm gonna tell you what I think of the smell, the notes, the performance, so on and so forth. I wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So, I don't think these are on the website yet. As of the time that I'm publishing this video, they should be, but today's date is October 10th. So of course, I'm gonna have to wait until the upcoming weekend in order to really figure out what's in them. So I'm really just doing this based off of my nose, based off of the dominant ingredients that I pick up on. So these are three gourmand fragrances. They're just released. The first one is called Creamy Coffee Abode. The second one is Choco Milk Treat and of course creamy blend of walnuts. And I know that Dua has a fragrance called Belgian Chocolate Truffle, which is an original creation. It's several years old. It is amazing. So I do know that they know how to utilize the note of chocolate really, really well. And in such a delightful gourmand fashion, whenever they do make, you know, these um, fragrances, especially the original. So I'm really looking forward to smelling that one to see how that chocolate is utilized. But walnuts, is a really interesting ingredient, as you can imagine. How often do you see walnut listed as a note in any perfume for that matter? Nevertheless, I have been wearing these fragrances for the past several days now, and I tried to switch it off to get a better idea of how each of them perform, but they're all extract the perfume, so the performance is pretty tantamount for the most part, and I own a few hundred Dua fragrances, and I can tell you right now, they are no slouch when it comes to the performance department. In any case, I'm excited to talk to you about the smell. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So the first one that we're gonna talk about is Creamy Coffee Abode. And of course, this is a coffee-based fragrance. And you smell this one and of course it's it's coffee based, it's a little nutty, it has that sweet personality to it, almost as though I'm smelling something vanillic, maybe some tonka bean, maybe even a touch of chocolate in here as well. The coffee that is in here is very rich. And I know there is a fragrance by Theodoros Calotinis that is a, a coffee based fragrance, it's called Coffee Addict. That is perhaps one of the most unique and one of the most organic smelling coffee fragrances. This is right up on that list as well. What I like about it is that the coffee isn't dry. It is a gourmand expression of the note of coffee. And of course, it does kind of put me in the mindset of getting like um, a coffee latte, something or other from like an, a, a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks or something like that. And I gotta be honest, you know, I drink my coffee black, no sugar, no milk, no nothing, just straight black. And that's the way that I enjoy it. It's an acquired taste, I suppose. So when I smell something like this, it's something that's a bit foreign to me because I don't typically consume these types of beverages, if I'm being honest, but I immediately pick up on the gourmand nuances. But even then, it's almost like 70% coffee, 30% of everything else. The coffee is right front and center. It's a beautiful coffee-based fragrance and it is creamy and a little lactonic, if I'm being honest with you. So the second one, oh, a lot of chocolate. This one is Choco Milk Treat. <laughs> the same lactonic element that's found in the first one is also found in the second one. Yeah, the chocolate is very, very rich, but you know what's interesting? This one isn't powdery, and I think I was expecting this one to be powdery because Belgian Chocolate Truffle, which is another Dua fragrance, that one is a little on the powdery side of things. This one is not. So yeah, I think for that reason, this one catches me off guard a little bit. And I did wear this one 
But I gotta be honest with you, when I wore them, I wore like one on each arm. And so I was trying to kind of gauge the performance and the smell of both at the same time. And the only one that I really wore on its own is the walnut based one. Cause I was like, well, that's really interesting. So I wore this one on its own, but these two, I kind of, I didn't layer them per se, but I wore them concurrently. And the chocolate in here is very, very nice. Um, it's a very gourmand expression of chocolate. And I can also pick up on a little bit of tonka bean or something else sweet in the dry down. So the chocolate isn't the only thing giving off that sweet personality, but I am getting a lactonic element, which is really, really nice. And I'm getting that decadent chocolatey sweetness and it's not powdery. So I really, really like this one. And I think this one would also work as a really good fragrance for layering purposes. I'm not getting anything fruity in here. I know a lot of times in the past, there have been chocolate based fragrances with like orange in it or something like that, especially if you think of Symphonium by Zerzhov or even Imperial by Navitus Parfum. Here, I'm not really getting anything fruity or citrusy. It's really just a lactonic, creamy, chocolatey, non-powdery, olfactive expression, and I really like that. Creamy blend of walnuts. Okay, so this one is really, really interesting because you smell it and there's something in here. And it's funny because perhaps I'm having the same reaction that I had to the Kaali fragrance with the pistachio in it. Yeah, so this one, it gives off that nutty appeal. And again, I wouldn't smell it and say, oh, this is walnut. I mean, if you said it's pistachio, I would have been just as convinced. If you told me it was almond, yeah, I might've put up a fight, but eventually I would have succumbed to your pressuring. But yeah, this one does have a nutty personality about it, which I think is really interesting, but it also has that gourmand element to it. So this is probably the least sweet it's equally as gourmand with gourmand, the literal meaning of that word meaning edible and something that is, you know, food derived or evocative of a food or an edible ingredient. But this one is the least sweet of the three. And I would say that because the sweet elements are in there, but they've taken a backseat to that nutty personality. So this one is again, lactonic. All three of them are lactonic, which means that they all have this inclusion of like a milky profile or a milky element. But this one is really nice. This one is interesting. This one for me, I think would be the most versatile of the three. I think with the coffee and the chocolate one, it's fall leaning. But this one, I can see myself wearing it in the spring and maybe on a cool summer evening or something like that. Just because the sweetness has been dialed back, it's still in there, but it's not as strong as the first two that I mentioned. What I think we're seeing here is the versatility of the Dua brand and how they can take these really interesting, really peculiar and unique notes. And they've done this with cherry, they've done this with banana, they've done this with so many different notes and ingredients. And they're able to compose and craft a really unique olfactive experience expression and I have a lot of respect for them and I really admire their work ethic and um, I really enjoy the originals that the brand has been putting out and I know that's not their bailiwick so to speak. I know they really pride themselves on their inspired expression of some really you know highly elusive niche fragrances that end up being quite costly but I do love their originals and I have so many of them at this point and they have even made their way into seasonal lists on my channel so you guys know that I wear them. Check these three out. They just came out. Get the weekend deals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, all of them are quite unique, if I'm being honest with you. Even with some of their hybrids or some of their, you know, originals, I can say, oh, I get a little bit of like Killian single malt or I get a little bit of this or a little bit of that. And the only thing that can be said about these is I do get a touch of that Belgian chocolate truffle, which is another original that they've done. However, that one can be a little bit powdery. These do not come across as powdery. So this is probably the most original batch that I've come across and some of the more interesting gourmands that the brand has ever put out. So you need to, at the very least, try to get a sample. I don't know if these are gonna be available in the 10 ml Dua Solo bottles, but if you do have that option, please do. And I know some of them are like 33 bucks, especially with the discount. So that is such a good price for the concentration of what you're paying here. Longevity on all of them is about 10 hours. Projection was really good for the first hour of application. It radiated just a little bit beyond an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour six or seven, a skin scent right around hour 10.
10. In terms of the versatility, great for the colder weather, except for creamy blend of walnuts. I think this one is more of like an all year round type of a scent, but the other two fall and winter. I think all of them can be worn casually or formally, because of the sweetness, I think they would appeal to anybody of any age, totally unisex. And the presentation, I love the graphics that are on the front and I love the uniformity with the dark label. My final verdict on these fragrances are, they are some incredible gourmands, perfect for the colder weather, highly original, super high quality ingredients, and an authentic expression of the name that is on the front of the label here. I just think Dua knocked it out of the park once more, and I've really, really, really been enjoying their original fragrances. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you took something of value from today's episode. If you did, please do consider showing your support by hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up as well. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new episode.